Did you know? Just about a year ago, Sweden international Viktor Jokeres was playing in the championship. At the time, it would be impossible to mention his name in the same sentence as some of Europe's elite strikers. However, one year later, he is the highest goal scorer in the Portuguese Primeira Liga. With his amazing 36 goals in 39 matches and 14 assists, he has the highest goal contribution of any player in Europe's top 5 leagues. But how did he go from playing in Coventry to becoming a most wanted striker in English clubs? Viktor Jokeres is not one of the biggest players in Europe just yet. Also, you might not even consider him to be one of the most talented. However, he has been in red-hot form for Sporting CP this season. Of course, he doesn't have the most goals yet, but he has contributed more to his team's goals than any of your favorite players. Right now, the likes of Kane, Holland, and Mbappe have nothing on him so long as goal contributions are a subject. His goal contributions this season show how important he has been for his team. But Victor didn't become such an important player overnight. He went through a process, and this process wasn't easy. Early Life Victor Jokeres was born in Stockholm. On June 4, 1998, he is Swedish by birth. However, he has a Hungarian lineage, so he was free to represent Hungary or Sweden internationally. Well, he chose to represent Sweden, and that has ultimately worked out well for him. The 25-year-old started his football career playing for EF Broima Poikana. He made his senior debut with this team and even went on to feature in over 45 matches before he decided to pursue his trade outside Sweden. Victor's reputation as one of the most dangerous strikers in Europe is widespread. However, as a young player, not many people expected him to get to a point where he would be considered one of the best in his position. This is because he wasn't even the best for the youth teams he played for. Move to Brighton and Hove Albion Jokeres was between 17 and 19 when he played for EF Broima Poikana. But just before he clocked 19, he put pen to paper for Brighton and Hove Albion. Of course, this club, which is now considered big, wasn't big at the time. So you might not want to picture him playing for Brighton and Hove Albion this season. Brighton wasn't a big club when Victor arrived. Nonetheless, he was unable to play even a single match that season. He had to wait until the next season to make his debut. After making his debut the following season, it still didn't seem like he was a part of the team, as he made only five appearances before going on loan to a Bundesliga 2 side. In the 2019-2020 season, Victor had 26 appearances for his team and was able to find the back of the net only seven times. At this point, it didn't seem like he was ever going to make it to the big leagues. As his career was moving slowly, the 2019-2020 season ended and Victor was back in Brighton. Sadly, he was still surplus to requirements and had to go on loan for Swansea for the 2020-21 season. At Swansea, he had 12 appearances and scored just once. He clearly did not impress, and Brighton didn't feel he needed to continue with Swansea. Well, he got called back and had to go to Coventry on loan. So, in just one season, he was sent on loan to different lowly ranked teams, and it seemed like he couldn't even perform well at the lowest of levels. Jokeres wasn't a bad player, but he probably was developing very slowly. At Coventry, Victor had 19 appearances and scored three times. As much as there was nothing impressive about his form, Coventry decided to keep him, and all they parted with was 1.2 million pounds. Move away from Brighton and Hove Albion Moving to Coventry permanently didn't seem great. It basically felt like he was moving down the pecking order. However, it was at Coventry that he found balance and began to show glimpses of the player he could be. In his first full season in Coventry, Victor didn't find the back of the net. That was bad. However, he was a constant threat, and even if he wasn't getting the goals, he was contributing to the team's success. In his first full season in Coventry, the best Victor could do was show signs of his talent. However, in his second season, he began playing like the striker that people who knew him earlier expected him to be. He became an absolute nightmare for defenders and gradually began building a reputation for running towards defenders, beating them easily, and finishing without even the slightest touch of finesse. So, he basically went from not scoring goals to becoming a machine, and the amazing thing about his form was that he never had to wait for the ball to be given to him in a great goal-scoring position. Rather, he built his goal from scratch when there was a need for this. Victor came to Coventry as a player that lots of teams didn't think was good enough. However, under the management of manager Mark Robbins, he became a player that several teams felt would bring a lot to the table. Of course, he was scoring, 
but beyond just scoring, he was creating his own chances. Interestingly, when he wasn't creating his chances, he was setting his teammates up for goals. In his second complete season for Coventry, Victor played 50 matches with 12 assists and 22 goals. He was involved in 34 goal contributions. A move to bigger things Jokerish was well on his way to playing in the Premier League, and this wasn't because any team was looking to buy him, rather, it was because Coventry was on their way to getting a promotion. They qualified for the promotion playoff. Sadly, they lost the final game to Luton via penalties, and that was the end of his Premier League dream with Coventry. Coventry was not getting into the Premier League, but that wasn't quite the case with Victor, as his performance at Coventry got him Europe's attention. A couple of Premier League clubs were interested in his signature. However, he landed at Sporting CP because it didn't feel like the English clubs interested in him were really committed to having him on their team. Well, we are committed to having you on our team. This is easy. Kindly like and share this video if you have enjoyed it so far. Also, subscribe to this channel if you are new here. Life in Portugal Not a lot of people were expecting Victor to move out of England. However, Sporting CP showed him a project he couldn't really turn down. You see, if Victor had stayed back in England, the best he was probably going to do was play for a mid-table team. Of course, being in England meant a great deal of exposure. However, he wouldn't be playing in Europe and his chances of winning a trophy would be slim. Well, on the other hand, playing in Sporting CP would mean playing in Europe. Also, he would be challenging for titles. Victor is close to the top. He isn't there yet. However, it is only a matter of time before he starts rubbing shoulders with the big boys in the game. At this point, with his success in sports so far, it is obvious that Victor is a good goal scorer. But he is not just a goal scorer, he is more. This might not be easy to notice because he hasn't been in the limelight for a long time, beyond the difficulty associated with noticing how good Victor is because of how long he has been in the limelight. Not many people understand his style of play. Style of play you see, it's quite understandable if you do not really understand Victor's style. However, if you know a thing or two about Radamel Falcao's style of play, you might understand how Victor plays. The young man looks up to Zlatan Ibrahimovic and doesn't consider the Colombian legend his mentor. However, it might be difficult to believe Victor didn't watch Radamel Falcao while growing up. Jogeres is more than just a striker. Of course, you can count on him to achieve the goals, but that's not all he brings to the team. Just like Falcao, Victor is pacey and strong. Also, he has a lot of stamina and plays with brute force. There are quite a few words that can describe Victor. However, it is just best to describe him as a workhorse, as he is willing to chase the ball right from the blast of the first whistle to the last minute of the game. Unlike some of your favorite players, Victor doesn't need a lot of space to create great danger. And if, for some reason, he has some space, he doesn't need to do a bunch of stepovers and beat multiple players before getting into a scoring position. Usually, all the Swede needs to do is beat his opponent with his pace. After this, he could decide to score a goal or set up a teammate. Well, if he decides to set up a teammate, your keeper might be considered lucky. This is because he isn't looking to score beautiful goals. He appears to be more interested in having so much power behind his goals. Since finding his groove, Jokerish is beginning to look like a complete striker. However, regardless of his height, he doesn't have a reputation for scoring with his head. This might not be an amazing quality for a man who is over 6 feet. However, this, unfortunately, is another thing he has in common with Falcao. Jokerish might not be good with his head, but that's really not a problem. He is dangerous when running behind defenders, so all his teammates need to do is pass the ball to his lethal right leg. What's next for Victor? Victor is still building his football profile. However, it already looks like he might be a little too good for the Portuguese Primeira Liga. He might not have said anything in this direction. However, the stats do not lie, and he just might not be at that level of the average player in Portugal. This is perhaps one of the reasons his stats are great. With the look of things, Victor might not be in the Portuguese league for much longer. Several big teams around Europe are interested in having him in their squad, and Arsenal are leading this race, although he is just one of the strikers they have on their radar as they look to strengthen their front line. He is their prime target. As much as playing in a big team in England is a move in the right direction for Victor, it might not be as great as we might have anticipated. You see, he has never played in the Premier League, so we can't tell how well he will cope. Now, it might be easy to say he will do well when he finally makes it to any of the top teams in England, 
However, you have to note that he will be up against much better quality. The defenders obviously will be a lot more ruthless. That's not all. He might not be able to force his way against well-built players like Van Dyke. The implication of this is that the Premier League will be the ultimate test of anything he has to offer. Hopefully, he stands the test of time. As it stands, Arsenal is considered to be the leading club as far as the chase for Victor is considered. But since they are not the only club, the Swede might not join them. Although, if it were up to him, he perhaps would want to play for the North London side. However, with Zlatan Ibrahimovic in the mix, he just might not return to England. You see, the Swedish legend, who happens to be his mentor and a senior advisor to AC Milan, wants him in Milan. According to Italian outlet Gazzetta dello Sport, both Arsenal and AC Milan are keen on a move to the Swede. The report states that Arsenal is in the front row to complete a deal, but Milan has a potential trump card in the form of Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic is Jokeres' idol, and the 42-year-old became a senior advisor to Milan following his retirement from football last year. As a result, the club is said to be hopeful Ibrahimovic can push him towards Milan. The likelihood of Victor leaving Sporting cannot be denied, but it might not be as big as imagined. This is because of the price tag Sporting has on him. Of course, he wants to taste more intense action. He is just letting things play out on their own. Speaking of speculations about his move, he said, It's a sign that I've performed well, but it's not something I take too seriously since it's just speculation. But, of course, it's fun. We'll see this summer. It's not something I know about myself or what will happen. I enjoy sports extremely well and feel no stress about the summer coming quickly. It will be a privilege to watch Victor take on the best defenders in Europe, regardless of the team he decides to join. But due to this huge price tag of over 100 million euros, he might be doing one more season in Portugal, just as Mbappe had to play an extra season at PSG.